In this 5-minute tip, we'll be reviewing a NIST control. According to ISACA, a control is the means of managing risk, including policies, procedures, guidelines, practices, organizational structures, which can be of an administrative, technical, management, or legal nature. Synonyms for a control are security safeguard or security countermeasure. In this example, we'll be looking at the NIST control PE8, which is Visitor Access Records, and it's representative of many of the controls in the NIST control library, or 853. The first thing to note is the control ID. This is PE8 for this control, which is physical and environmental. PE8 is a main control with two enhancements. If this were one of the enhancements, it would read PE8 parentheses 1 or PE8 parentheses 2. Next is the name of the control. In this case, it's Visitor Access Records. If this were an enhancement, the control name, Visitor Access Records, would be followed by a vertical line and then the name of the enhancement. For example, Visitor Access Records, Automated Records Maintenance slash Review. Next is the control description. This is the basic requirement for the control. In this case, the control has two parts, part A and part B. Within the control description are areas designated by square brackets. These are areas where the organization or the system owner will need to define variables. For example, in part A, there's an assignment required for an organizationally defined period of time. This variable would need to be defined before the control could be fully implemented. The next area is supplemental guidance. In this area, the control is described in better detail that provides the implementer with more information on how the control should be implemented. Following the supplemental guidance is an area that describes control enhancements. Not every control has enhancements and enhancements are implemented separately from the control itself. Control enhancements extend the base control, but are not required unless they're defined in the SCTM. Control enhancements extend and provide additional security beyond the base control. Next comes references. In this case, there are no references for this control. In many cases, a reference will be noted that will help the implementer in implementing the control. The final section is the priority and baseline allocation section. The first thing we see is on the far left, the indicator P3. This means that this control should be implemented with a priority of 3. This does not mean the security value is, is lower. It just means that in order of implementation, Controls with P1 and P2 should be implemented before this control. To the left of the priority block, we see three blocks that indicate low, moderate, and high settings. These are the requirements for each of those baseline levels. For example, the low baseline would require the base control PE8 be implemented, while the high baseline will require both PE8 as well as PE8 Enhancement 1. In this 5-minute tip, we've defined what a control is and explored the anatomy of a NIST control. We would really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and click on the bell so you're notified when new videos are posted. This video is part of the Cyber Recon RMF lab and training environment. Click the free trial on the right to see how the Cyber Recon RMF lab and training environment is different than training programs available elsewhere.